the king of cool named Stephen Queen. If you take the Great Escape, for instance, the guy goes in prison. He's put in a cell and what does he do? He takes a ball and he throws the ball at the wall forever for five days and smiles. It's taking a certain distance with what's happening to you. That is a definition of cool. This is just a little vacation that you bring to yourself five days off in your daily life where you can be not who you are. It's so it sounds like a bad advertising for perfume, but you can be at least free of a certain slavery of a daily life. It's very inspiring. Discovering all this unique mix of colors, mix of like shapes, and I'm like, oh, this one is so cool. There's passion here. Passion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing is completely beautiful. Nature is beautiful. What we do is not beautiful. take wheels and waves. These are two simple words but put together that had never been done before. People talk about the wheels and waves. Ooh, the wheels and waves. The awkwardness of that title just simply disappeared to turn into something cool. If you ask all these guys what happens at the end of the day, they will tell you, wow, I wrote, I wrote. And when it was cold, I was cold. And when it was hot, I was hot. And we went through the forest and I smelled the forest. That never happens in a car. That never happens in a city. That never happens in life. A lot of people say the stuff I build kind of is like four-wheel motorcycles, you know? It's all open and just a lot of feeling the, the wind through your hair, you know, and being out in the elements. People want to see beautiful things and buy everything already done. We wanted to do a bike that was coming out of an apocalypse. When they make a bike, they take the time to design it. They take the time to create it. I wanted to create unique jackets, taking the time to find the leather, the color. I don't really reproduce perfect things because I think we don't live in a perfect world and uh, I feel the necessity to, to put some ugly things. Feel it and be impulsive. What you see is also what you smell and is also what you feel. The feeling of when you rev up or rev down, when you break, when, when it's been raining all night and your bike is wet, it doesn't smell the same way as if it was dry. You would be surprised to see how many guys took to their bike at the end of a riding day, as if it was a horse. Any heartbeat of the object I can understand and respond to. And I just want to thank it. It's like a chemical link between the transportation mean that is mine and the fact that it is transporting me. The hot rods, the surfing, the skating, the, the fashion, everybody's speaking the same language. I come over here and I feel tons of love, dude, like beyond. It's not only the waves, but it's also the, the company, you know. You can feel the history of surfing coming here, you know, you can sense that everywhere. It's the heart of surfing in Europe. If 
if you look at the ocean, you see longboarder surfing, you recognize them from the first moment. Okay, that's that person, that, that's that person. You can put your own style into it and your own identity. You're in nature, you don't need anything, just a wave and a board, and I really enjoy the feeling of the glide. What happens in Berit stays in Berit, that's the exact opposite. What happens in Berit goes everywhere. It's in your blood, it's in your cells. You, you bring it back home, you talk about this with your friends, you convert them to the motorcycle or surfing or, or cruising, just the cruising. And that's this whole amount of energy that you have gathered in your body during those five days that you give back when you, when you come back to your life, let's say.